My models never get used, so should I sell my army? Time for another Wonders Earth discussion. Next speaking, and welcome to this video. Right, another chilled chat, a Wonders Off video for you. And in this one, we're gonna talk about should you sell your army? Before that though, if you would like to keep up to date with the Wonders of Warhammer 40K, then please give me a sub and hit the bell button so you don't miss an upload. Okay, so in this video, I want to have a chat about selling your army. Should you do it? Have you done it? Have you regretted it? Or has it been the best thing you've done? Uh, that is what we're gonna talk about. So from my personal point of view, I do have quite a reasonable amount of armies, not as many maybe as some others, but I've got about six armies. Now I have to say, out of those armies, I do have like a, a pecking order as such, of my favorite to my least favorite, um, or at least sort of in blocks of favorite. So for example, my Tyranids and my Necrons, Necrons! Necrons! Are my most favourite armies out of all of my armies. Uh, mainly because I love the models and B, because I love playing them on the table. Their playing styles uh, suit me quite well and also I find them a lot of fun. And at the bottom of the pile is probably my Space Wolves and my Aldar. Uh, they are my least favourite armies. Uh, now does that mean maybe I should sell those armies? Now obviously everyone is different and it all comes down to circumstances and what type of person you are. Myself, I am a bit of a collector. Always have been, I mean at school I used to collect bookmarks and matchboxes and stuff. Um, and now I collect Star Trek and Warhammer. And I think this is part of the hobby which I do really enjoy, it's the collecting side of it as well. Not so much on books, um, but more about the models. I love collecting the models and owning the models, etc. Um, so just the fact that I don't enjoy one particular army so much maybe as another doesn't necessarily mean that I want to sell it. It just means that maybe it doesn't come out of the case to play as much. And just because I don't enjoy playing the armies maybe quite as much it doesn't mean that I don't like the armies. Uh, for example, the Aldar, although the play style doesn't necessarily suit me, I absolutely love the models. I think the models look awesome um, and I really enjoy painting them. Uh, and when I do get them out on the table, it does make a nice change. So even though it's not necessarily my favourite to play, uh, when I get them out, um, I do enjoy playing them. As I said, they just maybe don't match my play style quite so much. Now as for my Space Wolves, uh, that's a different story. I purchased that a long time ago. It was my second army. I bought it because it was a close combat army. It was in contrast to my shooting Necrons. It also had a lot of conversion opportunities because it was a Space Wolves 13th company one. So I had uh, Space Wolf sprues, I was using Chaos sprues, and I was using Space Marine sprues. Um, and I put a lot of uh, effort into converting those models. But because it was um, a fluffy army from the Eye of Terror where they couldn't have any tanks, etc., they didn't necessarily perform particularly well. Uh, they did when the army came out, which I think was 4th edition, um, but as 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th editions come out uh, with no tanks uh, for the Space Wolves. So they haven't been that great on the battlefield. Uh, however, what I did do is I decided to paint them to the highest quality that I could uh, to try and uh, inspire me uh, with the army. And that has been really, really useful. In actual fact, I have a video here um, on how to have fun with your uncompetitive army. So go and check that out if you're interested. Um, so I don't think I would ever sell the army because A, I've spent a lot of money um, on the army because uh, that was back in the days where you could actually order individual bits from Games Workshop and also back in the days when I didn't have as many financial commitments. So I did spend a lot of money getting all the bits. I spent a lot of time converting them. Every single model is different in terms of the poses and all the bits that are on there. And I've spent an awful lot of time painting them. The army looks awesome, if I do say so myself. Uh, when I play the army, I enjoy seeing the army on the table and playing it. Um, but it doesn't perform particularly well. So maybe that's the reason why it's down in my lower ranks um, of the armies, but I don't think so. I think the main reason is, um, at heart, I'm just more of a Xenos player. Um, I'm playing a Space Marine type army. It just doesn't feel quite right. But does that mean I should sell it? Um, well, from my point of view, definitely not. Uh, just because I put so much uh, time, money, love and effort into that army um, and worst case scenario, I just have that army in a display cabinet. 
um, if I never sort of played it. However, I do make an effort to play it because the good thing about having all these different armies is I can change which armies I play each week. It gets a little bit more entertaining for me and for my buddies. So personally, I would never contemplate selling an army even if I never used it, worst case scenario, um, I would use it for painting projects to try and improve my painting um, and then I would probably just put it into a display cabinet. Now on the flip side of that, I do appreciate that some people get into financial situations uh, where they just have no choice but to sell their army. Um, and you know if that happens that happens um, but what I would say is maybe just see if there's anything else you can sell instead of your army but personally I wouldn't recommend you sell your army ever maybe if you were totally getting out of the game um, maybe there's an argument to sell it um, but even so I, I wouldn't do that I would definitely keep it even if I never played 40k again I was not, not on YouTube I had no blog um, I would still keep one of my armies um, because it's almost like a it's a part of me in my armies um, and let's face it you know I've got three children so in the future um, I'm sure maybe they might like to have some armies that they know that I've built and painted and put all that time and effort in um, you know in the far distant future uh, so what do you think do you think that you should sell your army if you don't use it anymore or maybe it's not your favorite army out of all the armies you have um, have you ever sold an army and regretted it? Have you ever sold an army and thought, brilliant, no regrets at all, you've got some money, spent it on something else? I'm really, really interested to uh, hear your thoughts. And as always, these videos are discussional videos. So pop those comments down below. And if you want to make a video response, then please feel free to do that as well. So I suppose the other thing that we also need to talk about is maybe selling or trading uh, units within your army. Now that is maybe a different story. Now personally, I find it quite difficult to part with any models from my collection. Now a lot of people love all these bring and buy uh, sales. You know, they take all their old models and they exchange them for, for new ones. Um, personally, as I said, we're all different, but um, personally I don't like doing that. I know my models are my models. Um, if I want other models, I prefer just to buy them um, rather than trade. I'm not so much into trading, um, I don't think. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about trading models as well. Um, how much do you enjoy that? Have you ever traded anything and regretted it? Um, indeed, let me know what your best trade is. Um, I'd be very interested to hear that as well. Beam me up.